So I wanted to share a doc with you that I built that allows teams to connect OKRs and epics in the same place. So it all starts with setting the objectives and key results. And for those who don't know what that means, it's basically setting uh, high level objectives that are actionable, emotional, something that really can rally the team. And often these objectives are set every quarter. So in this quarter, we're trying to launch a really awesome MVP or a minimal viable product of our app. And then usually you'll set anywhere between two to four key results off of those objectives. Oftentimes you want those to be very specific and uh, tie back to a number. So in this case, our key results for launching an MVP are some of the ones that you can see here, most notably a 15% conversion rate from people who land on our page and uh, sign up with the product. Now, when you're goal planning, these are often the first two things that happen, but what needs to come off the tail end of these planning a weeks or weekend or maybe a Monday morning are the things that we're actually doing. And that's where uh, most docs or most ways of managing OKRs falls apart. But what you can do in Coda is you can connect these key results to the epics or the, the work that you're doing. So here, on the OKRs, same table, objectives and key results, but now we have the epics or the projects that we're doing to deliver on these key results. So you can see that the marketing team wants to create an email journey, the design team making the invite button more clickable so people uh, spread the love for this new product you're designing. And then the engineering team is working on something else down here and some other key things that you would want to track for projects, like how long is it gonna take and what's the current status. So now that we have connected the epics with the OKRs, we can visualize how things are tracking uh, week after week, month after month against these high level objectives like launch an awesome MVP. And that's where the product roadmap comes in. So we're able to look at the high level key results here and then the different epics are the things that we're working on that goes back to the key results. So as things shift or move around and we're updating that, as we're developing the email journey and eventually finishing the email journey, we'll have all those updates reflecting back in the OKR status board. So if we're shifting the dates here on the product roadmap, it's going to be shifting the dates here. Same goes the other way around. If we were to push back a start date for the design team, it would push back on the product roadmap. And as we start completing some of the things towards developing an awesome MVP, on the OKR status board, you'll see us getting closer and closer to finishing this. So this is where the reporting comes back to management, or if you're a very small company, everyone is reporting weekly how we're tracking against these high level objectives. So what we can do is we can report off of the done versus total coming back from those tables and actively mark how we're tracking along those. Now, those are some of the high level dashboards. What often happens throughout the week is each team or each person wants to have their own views of what they're working on. So in this case, what I've done is I've created my own Epic view. All I had to do was take that base table of epics and filter it down to the things that I'm working on. Or maybe a specific team wants to see their view of what they're doing. So in this case, we're taking the key results that relate back to 40% of the users and then visualizing that in one place. So this is where Coda becomes really helpful in crafting these different views of these bigger, you can think of them as base tables, database tables here that we're tracking against. So how do we actually connect two tables in Coda to make this magic happen? And that's where lookups come in. So here we've created a lookup column and we're looking at that key result table from over here, which then allows us to basically query all the key results coming from the other table. So as we select these, we can then put in the epics names over here and that's how the different pieces are connecting together. The other thing that you might've seen is we have buttons here to help with our management every week. So in this case, we wanna ping management on the Slack channel you can connect to Slack or click a button to then send an email through Gmail. And that's a combination of buttons. So you can create a button easily here. In this two case, we have packs or integration buttons, but you can create a button to 
click on to create new rows, for example, in a table. And the way that we're connecting our packs is through the packs icon here. So we've connected Gmail and Slack, but we have a lot of different apps that you can connect with, either to click on a button to send information to or to pull down information from. So you don't have to copy and paste or really tediously move between one app or the other. Coda is your place to manage things like uh, OKRs and epics. So now that I've clicked that button, what it does is it's sending an email. In this case, I've hard-coded it to just myself, but you can send it to an entire team if you want. The subject is going to say, hey, here's the OKR as an update from today. So it's going to programmatically pull in that date. And then the content that I want to send is you can send sections. So I'm just sending the OKR status board, which is this section. But again, you can more programmatically put in the content. So let's take a look at what it looks like over In my email, I now have all the updates coming back. I realize I'm not sharing my email, but that allows you to uh, go over into the email. 